Ooh. The title today um, from the material that came in from the uh, Baptist Missionary Society is uh, Seek uh, First the Kingdom. Seek first the kingdom. This comes from a, uh, a scripture that we find in uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 33. We're to seek first the kingdom of God. And then Jesus goes on to say, and all these things will be then added to you. And what he's talking about here is that prior to this, Questions have come about what is important and uh, what should be our priorities. And there's discussion about where, what you should wear, uh, what you should eat, where you should live. And Jesus turns it around and he says, seek first his kingdom. So seeking first the kingdom of God is the, what our focus is. Is it not working? I'm going to go over to this. Okay, is that working? Cool, beautiful. I'm now turning that one off. Oh, you didn't feel a thing, did you? Just seamless. <laughs> What's important? So I want to know what is important. So we need to find out what is important. And uh, Chloe's going to write it down and you guys are going to have to hold it up for me. So could you go out and ask some people what is important okay so that's your question just go and find anyone anyone i'll talk to you go and find somebody can you go and find out we want to know what is important and then come and see chloe and chloe will write it down and then you can hold it up for us what's important we're told to seek you've got to you've got to go over here luke and and to, just one on a sheet and then hold it up. What things are important? When you've got it, hold it up. You've got to come and hold it up so we can see. Have you got something? Go and see Chloe and she'll write it down. Once it's written up, can you take it and bring it over here so we can see? They're just sort of collecting them over there. Grab it and bring it. Grab it. And... Which one was yours? Come on over here then. Over here, over here. Oh, good, do, 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 do. oh crumbs, we got some heavy duty stuff. Okay, come on. What things are important? What things are important to us? Just stand there for us, Luke. You got, you, you, people have got too many good answers here. Oh my word, what sort of stuff? Is this the sort of thing that people are saying? Yeah. yeah. Really? Wow. Okay, what have you got? Things are important. What have you got, Sheldon? Yeah, I can see that, man. That's good. What sort of things are important? What are we going for? Okay. Okay, so we're going to grow from here. We're going from over here. We've got what things are important. So what's important? Now, just to say to everybody here, these were not the answers that I was expecting. Okay? These were not the answers I was expecting. I was expecting things like Nando's. I was expecting something like Land Rover. I was expecting uh, semi-detached with garage and driveway. I was expecting Gucci. I've no idea what a Gucci is, but uh, that's what I was expecting. Uh, Waitrose. Things you can't do without. Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Mor is anybody a Morrison's shopper here? Okay. You could have a little group like Joe's got at tea time. Brilliant. Right, so what you've gone, these are the things that you, you people have said is, is important. You're going for kingdom of God. Well, yeah, just absolutely. What's really important is that we help one another. That's brilliant. Love that. Jesus. Luke, you're just awesome, mate. Yeah, 
What's that one there? God's grace and his love towards us. Being kind is important to us. You've got, that's it, that's the right way up. Seeking the kingdom of God, especially if you live in Australia. That's, that's a good one. Okay. And you're going for family. Do you want to sit on the edge of the stage? Going for family. Well, as I said, I, I was just expecting that what we would say um, are things that are probably a little bit more material and a bit normal. But it just goes to prove that Basingstoke Baptist Church is just super spiritual. Because what happens is what we focus on, what we invest in, is our priority. So if all these things that we're talking about here, which are are God-focused, what we are doing is exactly what the Word of God says we should do, which is seek kingdom. One of the lovely things about what we've got here amongst all of this uh, religion and uh, Christianity answers is we've got one here. What was your one here? Your one was, what is it? Show it up. Tell it, show everybody. Family. Family. And this is really important to us because uh, we've just extended our family. And uh, Josh and Flory, who come here and lead us in worship, uh, they had a son on Friday morning. And his name's George. George. So George came into the world on Friday morning. And uh, Carol and I happened to be up in Chesham with Josh and Flory, and they went into hospital. We hung around all day, and then they came home. It has a baby at half past ten, and is back home by half past eight. That's brilliant, isn't it? Ah, oh. so family is really, really important. But I just wanted to pick up this morning one really important thing, which is the focus of our message today, which is we are called to be those who seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, recognizing that all things will be given to you as well. Stuff changes. Priorities change. Things that we used to do, we don't do. Thank goodness. Can I just ask a question? Who here flew in a plane the furthest back in time? What I'm saying, not like back to the future, like going back to the 18th century. Who, how long ago did the first person in this room actually fly in a plane? So is anybody, anybody fly before the 1970s? Okay, anybody fly in the 1960s? Whoa. Anybody fly before that? Okay. God, dear. You don't look that old, actually. Good on you. Uh, Let me just give you a scenario. Back in the early days of... uh, flying in commercial aircraft, what used to happen is that you used to go through the airport stuff, then you used to go out onto the tarmac, you used to walk up the steps, and you go and find your seat. And when you found your seat, you usually buckle in the way the uh, air hostess would walk up and down, make sure everybody's comfortable, all your baggage is stored. The captain would talk you through um, the uh, safety situation because you are in a large metal tube. The wings that go out to the left and to the right are all full of uh, fuel. And we're not just talking four-star, if anybody can remember that stuff. We're talking, you know, real high-quality fuel that's going to go through a jet engine. And uh, so the notices are given, the safety information is given, and then you're taxiing out, and then within a few moments, that huge metal tube full of people uh, takes off. And as it takes off and gets to its first cruising altitude, what happens is a little sign goes out, which says that you can undo your seatbelts, and you can now have a cigarette. Do you remember that? 
Once upon a time, go for the next slide here. Once upon a time, you could smoke on an aeroplane. Smoking on a plane. This is one of the things that I was thinking about this week. The things that have changed in society that once upon a time was normal and natural and nobody worried about. Now you're in a situation where if anybody lights up, I mean, there's rules now about vaping, you can't, uh, and there's all sorts of stuff. And occasionally somebody does smoke on a plane, and um, I mean, they detour planes and land them and then bill the person who was smoking. Wow. Smoking on a plane. There's so much stuff that I, I think I just categorize as it's a smoking on a plane situation. It is what it is, but it's going to change. It is what it is, but it is going to change. Can, can I just inquire of anyone? Have you ever, next slide, James, have you ever owned a car that didn't have seatbelts? Look! Yes! People, there were cars without seatbelts. Now, you know, I was brought up in the age of a certain gentleman reminding us to clunk click every trip. And uh, that's not how things used to be. I've heard stories of people going on, you won't believe this, going on holiday abroad and taking the baby, the smallest member of the family, and letting them continue to sleep on the parcel shelf at the back of the car. Fill the car up, all the luggage, all the stuff. Small person, he's sleeping, stick him on the parcel shelf. Would you, who would do that? I, would, I tell you. Huh? It gets in the way of the brolly. We would not dream these days, I don't think, of traveling. And even though we would not believe that people would travel around without a seatbelt on, some people do, and the police dish out tickets. Uh, uh, the only thing about it that, that I recognize is that you don't have to make a mess when you hit the windscreen. It, and it really does. And uh, for just putting a seatbelt on, it's, it's small fry, really. But these are certain things that, that I classify as smoking on a plane issues. They were big stuff, it was easy going, and then something changed. It's the same as with seatbelts. It's been overridden. Once upon a time, you didn't have to worry about them. Now, every car has a seatbelt, and it's really important that you put the seatbelt on. One thing doesn't change. One thing that we need to remember this fact that our priority is always to seek first his kingdom and I love the way that Jesus begins it he says but seek first there's a priority here there is a uh, number one and number one is kingdom I don't think this is ever going to be a smoking on the plane issue. I don't think this is ever going to be a situation like no seatbelts and now seatbelts. I, I don't think something else is ever going to come along that takes over from Jesus' word of encouragement that we would seek first his kingdom. What does that look like? Seeking first means that I talk to God. Seeking first means I spend time in his presence. I read his word. Seeking first means that I live out his values. I make sure the fruit of the spirit live over and in my life. Seeking God means that I prioritize God in my decisions. Rather than thinking what would be best for me, seeking him and saying, Lord, how would you like me to go? What would you like me to do? With regard to careers, with regard to our finances, putting God first and saying, Lord, how would you like me to act? And the reason why our grandson, oh, I just love this, our grandson, our grandson is called George.
And the reason why it's called George is because Josh and Flory were impacted by the life of a guy called George Muller. And uh, he was based out of uh, Bristol, and there's a, a museum of, of all the things that he was involved in. He preached the gospel, he told the world about Jesus, but he also prioritized God's presence. His focus was not to bang the drum for resources, but to pray resources in. And there's amazing stories of how he started orphanages and how he built uh, schools, colleges, and uh, helped apprentice young people into the workplace that would never have made it without his help. 19th century missionary, evangelist, and uh, the reason why Josh and Flory chose George as the name of their son, because he was one who completely focused his priority on God first, knowing that God would add everything. And this is when we look at James and Bindi, uh, Bindi in, in Bangladesh, and we say, they want to go and tell people about Jesus. Well, people need clothes. People need good sanitation. People need food. But those guys are going to tell them, firstly, about Jesus, because the priority is to seek him first. And they know that when Jesus is involved in the community, the community is transformed. So here's the challenge for today. As Jesus sums up this part of Matthew 6, his main focus is on the fact that people are worried, people are anxious, people are concerned. But he says contentment is only found in him. Let me pray. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Lord, this morning as we support this BMS work happening in Bangladesh, we ask for your help that we as individuals and as a church might prioritize you too. May you be our first. That everything that you've done with us and through us would be our priority. And that our way of doing things, our own heart's desires, may resonate only with yours. Seek first your kingdom. Would you help us, Lord, to do that? Would you help us to make you number one? in all that we do and where we have messed up in the past we ask for your forgiveness that we might start again even today in Jesus name Amen